again everyone. Welcome back to Miss Seema's art class again. A long distance high fives for everyone. Whoopsh! Or big hu virtual hugs too. All right. Now, this week I have an exciting brand new art bingo art O board, the second one. Uh, before I get into that though, I wanted to give out some awesome shout outs to some students who completed the first Ardo uh, board game with at least four prompts, okay? So the students who reached Ardo last week are Whistleen Z in Barrett's second grade class, Aiden R in Haroff's uh, second grade class, Maria B in Ojinski's first grade class, Elizabeth O in Hickman's kindergarten class, Davi R and Christian C in Hunter's class, Renaud J in Young's third grade class, and Eris B in Ms. Haroff's second grade class completed Ardo twice. So that means at least eight different art prompts she completed. Amazing. I also wanted to give out some shout outs to three wonderful students who actually completed the prompt about recreating a portrait with yourself or a family member. Those students include Davi who created a recreated a wonderful uh, self-portrait by artist Frida Kahlo. There's also Liv who created two amazing pieces by, originally by Paul Gauguin and artist Prima Vasi. And uh, young Eris also created a beautiful recreation of a Henry Toulouse Lutrec artwork as well. So big props to all those students and to everyone who's been submitting work. I'm very grateful to see all the beautiful work coming in these past few weeks. Now, going back to the new Art O board game, which has 16 new prompts for you to choose from every week. You only have to do one per week, but if you do more, you reach Art O faster. Now, on this board, we have at least three different um, projects for holidays in May. The first one is Cinco de Mayo on May 5th and you can create a wonderful, awesome maraca uh, out of an old Easter egg if you have one. All right, and there are, um, there are pictures on the second page of the Ardo board on the examples page so you can see what is expected and to give you an idea of what to do for the project itself. All right, we also are going to have a project, actually several projects for Mother's Day, which is on May 10th. All right, so there's one project where you can create a salt dough flower and there are directions on the Ardo board through a website that you click on that directs you to another art teacher's page with directions of how to do that. All right, then the other uh, Mother's Day project is specifically a Mother's Day card that you create using your hands on a piece of paper to then cut out into a beautiful heart hand card. All right, and the last holiday in May is Memorial Day on May 25th, and you can create an awesome patriotic colored red, white, and blue lantern out of paper for that holiday as well. So some of the other awesome projects that I have in the examples portion include the toy shadow art where you can use different toys and the shadows from the sun to create a beautiful artwork with that. Then another really fun prompt is recreating an artwork out of laundry this time. Dirty or clean laundry, that's up to you. But you can use the color of clothes to create the blocks of color in a painting you find on one of the museum websites that we've visited already. And another really fun prompt is creating a, a castle out of toilet paper or paper towel rolls too. You can use glue or cuts to join the rolls together. Now, I'm gonna go into more depth for that project at another time, but just to give you an idea of what I mean by cuts, I mean that you make two cuts in 
a paper towel roll, okay, two cuts on the top, and then you join another cardboard roll right into those cuts. All right, that joins them together if you don't have glue or if you just want to try this out. All right, so we have all those prompts and just make sure that when you create them, you take a photo and you either upload them to the assignment page or you email them to me so you get credit for the artwork that you make. All right, have fun creating this week and if you have any questions, don't forget to ask me on the Google Classroom. All right, bye now.